What's up everybody? Coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina, and we're going to be exploring the streets of South Carolina. It's a Sunday morning, and we're going to do quite a few videos from Charleston today, some of them live, some of them pre-recorded. Hope you enjoy. Let's get walking. All right, it really is a beautiful day. And I have never been to Charleston before. It's gonna be in the 60s today, maybe the low 70s. Already see some historic churches. This is where they're gonna set up the farmer's market a little bit later. I thought we might catch that, but it looks like we're up too early. It is 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday. So, we're gonna kick around, try and find a little bit of breakfast. And then I'm gonna live stream after breakfast. This is a pretty park for sure though. We got pretty churches too. But let's get walking. If you're new to the channel, everybody, this is a point of view exploration channel. We travel all over the United States, take in natural sites, amazing cities, fun experiences. We love having you here. You can check the video description for more information. Some cool palm trees here and big magnolia trees. It looked like, because this was a Sunday, my parking was free downtown. I camped last night for about $40 at the Charleston KOA campground. It was okay. A little bit loud. A little bit too crowded. Tonight, I found a good rate on a Hilton hotel for 100 bucks. So we'll hop back in the truck later tonight when we're done with the city. Go stay at the Hilton for 100 bucks. I'd rather be camping, but uh, camping right around Charleston is a little bit difficult to find. At least it was for me. All the state parks were booked up because they're near the ocean. James Island has a campground, but only the group sites were available and it was $150 to camp at James Island. And unlike the West, you can't just pull the truck off to the side of the road on public lands because there is no public lands. There are no public lands. And we're going to have a lot of fun looking at architecture today. I mean, go to wide angle so you can see a little bit better.
You can already tell this is going to be a pretty, pretty city. We are walking down Meeting Street, which appears to be the main drag for Charleston. But honestly, I'm going to be learning as I go here. I don't really like to do a lot of research. Maybe it means I miss some things, but it means that every time I visit a new place, it is absolutely filled with discovery and adventure. And I like that better than pulling up a list of the top 25 things to do. This way they're my experiences. It's a pretty old wooden house over there. With the sun shining at us, you won't be able to see it, I don't think. I'll point back here in a second. There we go, that beautiful double-decker porch. Looks like uh, we are walking past the College of Charleston. These old trees are so pretty. We should walk this way. This is gorgeous. I'll probably make this video about a half an hour long. And I'll just make quite a few. And we can watch them together as time goes on. Look at this tunnel of trees. How pretty. I wonder how they train them away from the buildings. Or, never mind. Well, I see that they've been pruned and limbs have been taken off, but they're all leaning away, so they trained them in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. There's some really cool old buildings here on the end. Uh, this one's a bed and breakfast, it looks like. It's pretty neat. Coming up on King Street. Looks like a cool street, I can tell already. And I guess because we're next to a college, there'll probably be a lot of cool shopping and food up here. I hadn't thought about Charleston as a college town. Hmm. I mean, I know the, his, the historic side of Charleston. And I know it's a pretty expensive place to live. I should also mention we're in the middle of a southern road trip where we're visiting old cities of the south. Asheville, Charleston, Savannah, St. Augustine. So make sure you subscribe and check out all those videos. Oh, wow, Pottery Barn. Okay. So I guess this is more upscale retail in this street. We should check out this street. Uh, 
the Sotile Theater. Looks like it's not a theater. Chucktown Brewery. Okay, so looks like that's an informal name for the city. Good to know, Chucktown. You can smell the ocean, which I love. This far into the city, that's great. Oh, I love that white building in the middle there. So cool. <laughs> Interesting mix here. Got local kind of mom and pop places and a William Sonoma. and a Yeti factory store next to a local liquor store. Interesting. I've never understood, so let's see here. That cooler, uh, it doesn't say the price, but those coolers are like, three hundred four hundred dollars seagulls and so those coolers cost an arm and a leg and they literally do nothing more than a styrofoam cooler now they last longer of course but you can get a pretty good plastic cooler for like 25 bucks so here I go sounding like an old man again but I don't get it why are you spending all the money on the cooler instead of all the money on the stuff that goes in the cooler it's like a coffee shop around the corner here Calhoun Street Okay, we're back at the side of the park. So that's cool. Let's walk back down this street and then we'll check out that neighborhood. It looked kind of cool. Oh, a Gorin Brothers store. Now, that I love. So they've got a brand called Animal Farm. Yep, here we go. I wear these hats like crazy. I, I must have, God, I must have 20, 25 animal farm hats. Now that, so, that's a cool hat for the same price as a normal hat. But, to be fair, that hat store does have $300 hats. I'm just not partaking. All right, enough about shopping for luxury items. <laughs> That's not what this channel's about. Huh. Boba tea. Always fun. I don't see many breakfast places. It's Sunday, so I would, I would think you'd be able to get a great brunch in Charleston on Sunday, but I think I'm in the wrong neighborhood for that. This looks like more of a late night neighborhood. As evidenced by the empty bottle of Fireball that I just walked past. <laughs> Yeah, so I know I'm going to explore Charleston today. I might be here tomorrow too, depending on how much there is to see and do. I like the city already, I can tell. It feels a little bit like walking around in a city in the Caribbean, honestly. Just bigger. There you go. Here's an example. There you go. You can get this igloo cooler. 
I promise I'll stop now. All right, here's the college gift shop for the College of Charleston. All right, now, should we walk down this street? I think we should keep going down this street. Yeah, let's check it out. So let me know in the comments, have you been to Charleston? What did you enjoy most about the city and what was the best meal that you had? Oh, look at this little building shoved in between the other two. That is so cool. Love it. blocks and blocks and blocks of these old buildings. I love it. Lots of stores where you can pay a lot of money. Huh, including this one. This is a store that I would pay a lot of money in. <laughs> and I have. Thank you, Apple, for helping make this channel possible, not as a sponsor, but as the company making my fantastic phone. And anyone from Apple, if you're listening, yes, you may sponsor the stream. Send me a free laptop. <laughs> For a second there, I smelled some breakfast. How's it going? It's kind of interesting to imagine what these places were originally, back in the day. I mean, it's all retail now. I wonder if it was offices, small businesses. I'll show you what I mean. So, this one, Cress, looks like SH Crescent Company. It looks like it used to be a department store, and now it's an H&M. This one definitely looked like an old department store or drugstore. Now it's a Vineyard Mines. Another very expensive place to buy a t-shirt. Hmm. Let's just keep heading down King Street. I like King Street, it's kind of cool. You can see the brick streets, very nice.
Rolex. Yeah, so a lot of companies are paying up for real estate on King Street. So I think we can officially say King Street is the retail zone. So we'll walk the length of King Street on this stream. And then we'll focus on residential zones and architecture on another stream. Hope you guys are having fun checking it out with me. like a big mall but it's closed which makes it more enjoyable now there's a store I can get behind Freddo artisanal gelato and gourmet empanadas there's a cool Starbucks look at that and flood tide company looks like an art studio I guess Town Grill and Seafood. Louis Vuitton. Oh, that's a fun thing. Like an old steamer trunk. How the brand got its start. I like that. Now they sell thousand dollar handbags. <laughs> I like the steamer trunks though. The Riviera Theater. So cool. Look at that building. That's awesome. Oh, it looks like they're putting a department store in the bottom of Majestic Square here. Not an old building. Looks like an old building, but not. Let's keep walking. You can hear some church bells off in the distance. I think the harbor is about three streets that way. I'll probably come back down this street later on a live stream when it's a little bit more active. Seafood Shack. I do like this deserted though. More of my speed. I bet it's gonna be packed later. But probably not until after church. Yeah, you can hear bells from multiple different places. One thing I've noticed is the city is pretty clean. So they're doing an admirable job with all the tourism that they must have had yesterday because it was another beautiful day yesterday. But it looks very clean.
<laughs> looks like everybody has been respect and actually using the trash can and I will use the trash can too for my soda bottle I've seen a couple of really nice looking boutique hotels. I, I was checking prices down here. So I mentioned that I paid $100 for my hotel out at the airport. Um, prices started at $300 plus pay for parking down here. And they went as high as uh, $800 a night for hotels down here in the dist historic district. All right, we're gonna have to check that out. Look at that little garden. The gate's open, so we're checking it. The Unitarian Church. Churches almost never mind if you walk through their grounds. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is a, just an alleyway between the shopping street and residential back entryways this is cool looks like the gate itself was sponsored by the Unitarian Church How great is this? Uh, uh. Here's the church. And the amazing cemetery. Wow. Wow. Eighteen eighty seven, eighteen seventy five, eighteen seventy two. beautiful Spanish moss in the trees. Eighteen sixty five, seventeen eighty five. Holy cannoli. Walking through some cobwebs tells me we're the first people to pay our respects today. This is an amazingly beautiful place. And there's the church. Truly, truly a beautiful place. I'm glad we discovered this. Wow. All right.
All right, well, we've gone for over 30 minutes on this video. We're gonna go ahead and call it, and we'll pick up next time. Thank you everyone for joining me. See you next time.